What those funny white patches on your tongue? You might have oral thrush. In today's episode, we're going to go through oral thrush, also known as oral candidiasis or an oral yeast infection. We'll go through the top two treatments to get rid of it. Let's get into it. So trillions of tiny little things called microorganisms or microbes live in and on our bodies. Included in these microbes is the yeast candida. So normally candida lives in our bodies with no problems, but sometimes there's an imbalance and an overgrowth of candida in the mouth. And this is when you get the condition called oral thrush. Now the most noticeable symptoms are the creamy white lesions in your mouth. These usually occur on the tongue and on the inside of the cheeks, but they can also occur on the roof of your mouth, gums, tonsils, or back of the throat. Other symptoms may include redness and slight bleeding if you scrape off the white lesions, a burning or soreness in your mouth, dry cracked corners of the mouth. This can be a sign of angular colitis, which quite often goes hand in hand with oral thrush. You can watch my video here for more information. A funny cotton feeling and an unpleasant taste in the mouth. Now all of these symptoms can make it difficult to eat. In severe cases, it can spread to the esophagus, also known as the windpipe and can cause some difficulty swallowing and a feeling that you've got something stuck in the throat. Now speak to your healthcare professional who can diagnose it either by looking in the mouth or taking a swab. Anything that contributes to the overgrowth of the yeast candida in your body can cause oral thrush. This can include stress, hormonal imbalances such as pregnancy and periods, dentures especially if they haven't been properly removed and cleaned overnight, smoking, certain medications such as antibiotics, oral contraceptives also known as the birth control pills, corticosteroids particularly if you use the inhalers for asthma or COPD, medical conditions such as uncontrolled diabetes, cancer particularly if you're going through chemotherapy or radiotherapy, HIV and dry mouth. Now it is more common in babies and toddlers whose immune systems are still developing and also in older adults and those with a weakened immune system. In general, oral thrush is actually quite harmless and if it's mild, it can go away by itself in a few months. If it's severe though, it can stick around for longer and possibly spread further. Most people do prefer to treat it to get rid of it quicker. Now the over-the-counter treatments are antifungals that either come as a liquid or a gel. You may need to ask your pharmacist for this. Usually with these treatments, the oral thrush should clear within 7 to 14 days. So first up, we've got the antifungal liquid Nystatin. Measure one mil with a syringe, swell it around the mouth, keep it in the mouth as long as possible, and then swallow. Repeat this four times a day. Continue for at least two to three days after symptoms disappear. This is safe to use in infants from birth. Next up, we've got the antifungal gel Myconazole 2%. Apply this by using the spoon to measure 2.5 mils, which is half a spoonful. Drop the gel onto the tongue and leave it in the mouth as long as possible before swallowing. Repeat four times a day and continue for at least seven days after symptoms disappear. For children under two, the dose is a bit different, so make sure you speak to your healthcare professional. Now, both of these options are equally as effective. If you have any issues with tooth decay, it's better to avoid the Nystatin drops, as this contains high levels of sucrose, which can make the tooth decay worse. Now, if you have no improvement after 14 days, make sure to speak to your healthcare provider. If you have dentures, the recommended treatment is the Myconazole Gel. It's recommended to also apply the gel to the fitting surface of the dentures at least twice a day. Now, here are five tips to help you prevent oral thrush. Tip number one, probiotics. Since oral thrush is caused by an imbalance of yeast in your mouth, anything that helps to maintain and restore that balance is beneficial. Probiotics help to restore that balance. Sources of probiotics include in tablets and foods such as yogurt and kimchi. Rinse your mouth out after using a corticosteroid inhaler. If you use a steroid inhaler for asthma or COPD, be sure to rinse your mouth afterwards with water as a steroid can cause oral thrush. You can also use a spacer with your inhaler to help reduce the amount of steroid powder that stays in the mouth. Tip number three, keep your medical conditions under control. If you have uncontrolled diabetes or a dry mouth, speak to your healthcare professional to try and get these under control. Tip number four, good oral hygiene. Brush and floss your teeth regularly as recommended by the dentist. And if you wear dentures, make sure to remove them and clean them overnight. Tip number five, limit high sugar foods. High sugar foods may contribute to oral thrush. So that comes to the end of our video. If you found anything useful in this channel, please support me by liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.